this is Danny Avila. I'm the creator of LibreChat, and I'm going to walk you through our latest experimental feature, Code Artifacts, which is inspired by Claude AI's Artifacts, if you're already familiar with that. It can render React code, raw HTML code, as well as mermaid diagrams right there in your browser in a safe environment. And I hope it can help you prototype new websites, designs, or even just learn more about React and HTML, as well as diagram technical ideas you have. Um, so without further ado, I'll get right into it. And if this is your first time using it or wanting to use it, or maybe you're looking to update, I'll have instructions in the description for that. But I'll just start off over here in settings, bottom left, and we'll go to beta features. This is an experimental feature that we need to toggle on. I already had it toggled, but you should just do that, and I'll explain each of these aspects later on with some examples. And we'll, let's get right to it. I'll use a pre-made prompt after I move my screen over. <clears throat> I'll use this um, inspired by a famous tweet um, that came out when Claude AI first came out with their artifacts. It was really interesting to see what people could build with it. I'm happy to say we can pretty much match um, a lot of the outputs almost one to one. So I didn't know qu what, quite what to expect here, but um, this prompt's a little hit or miss. Not too happy with that one. But I can show you what it's generated in the past, which is quite amazing. Um, this is the actual example from that one tweet. A milk drop visualizer. It's pretty amazing. I'll show off a little more what it can do. Here's a 3JS solar system. Um, and this is just really great for if you're not familiar with 3JS like, like myself uh, to just understand it better. So this is raw HTML going in there. Um, this is another cool one. Similar, same prompt as before. Um, doing this kind of animation. This one might need a refresh here, yeah. So really cool to see what's possible with this and you can resize this if you want to increase the size. Um, and I'll get into uh, some of the other use cases where you know you might want to provide an image to prototype something or wireframe, kind of just build something out inspired by something else. Um, and this is all what it generated. And I'd say it did a pretty decent job. Um, and I can expand this just to show a little more clearly. But this is the kind of thing that's that's possible now, and this is all open source. Um, so you don't need to use V0 or pay for Cloud AI. This is just something you could totally do. Um, here's a quick little fireworks animation. Snake game, of course, is the de facto intelligence test for AI these days. So here we go. Could do this all day. Claude usually gets this right uh, first time. It's just a silly example here where I gave it an image and I wanted to iterate on this several different times. And I just kept going crazy and crazier with the prompt to the point where I wanted to be able to rotate the circle. <laughs> and as you can see, this, this is just from um, this whole animation here is just from continued turns here with, with Claude. Um, but of course you can use this for mermaid diagrams, as I mentioned before, and this is a silly example. You might want to do something more technical than this, um, but just thought it'd be a good way to show what you can do here. You can zoom in, drag. Uh, here's a more technical example of a server API route. So th this sort of thing, I, I just can't wait to see what people build with this. All right, so now I'll get into the specific features here. So when we toggle this on, it tells the system to use a specific prompt. So this is all prompting. There's no special tool functions or anything like that. It's it's just in the prompt. And it's not a secret. It's in the code base. You can look at it. You can modify it. I'll get into that as well. But this one adds even more instructions about ShadCN. The system prompt actually mentions ShadCN but this just guides it better on how to import all the different components 
And if you're not familiar with that, that's a that's a pre-made component library, very minimalistic design, very trendy. A lot of people use it. I'll turn it on now. And let's do let's actually use OpenAI with ChatGPT 4.0. And I'll ask for a cat blog. So there we go, it's got the it's got the prompt. So it might not have been able to know that it had a text area there um, if we hadn't used that specific setting. It might have tried to make its own text area, but now it's using uh, the spe specific one available with this library um, because we were able to guide it better. Yeah, so if you're familiar with, with uh, ShadCN, uh, this should look these 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 this design should look familiar and now we'll get into the next feature which is custom prompt mode so basically as I said before this is a prompt here but with this feature on um, it needs a little more guidance from us manually so if you ask for a snake game it's not going to do it um, it's gonna just render code like normal in code blocks um, let's switch to Anthropic. We'll, we'll ask it for Snake Game and Artifacts now. Now, this is actually the system prompt in the back end, uh, or maybe a different version of it, but nonetheless, instructions on how to format artifacts. And as you can see, it, it generated the artifacts UI, and, and here's the playable Snake Game. So it's not perfect because it, it wasn't letting me move quite quite as much as I wanted to there but but yeah so that's the custom prompt and that's that's not the only way you can do it you can also use these presets here um, that's one way to do it um, I actually want to show that you can use the assistance feature from OpenAI and I'll, I'll say I'll ask for that beautiful animation again see what it generates but the point is, it's able to do artifacts now because it has the specific instructions. And those custom instructions I have for this assistant in particular is this thinking tag, um, just to differentiate a bit. Um, let's see if let's see if uh, GPT 4.0 will get this as as good as Claude does. So your mileage may vary by by model and by provider and and that's why I wanted to add this feature um, so it, look, it, it looks like it generated something here it's quite interesting it's not not quite as expansive as or beautiful as I was hoping um, but anyway that that I think that covers pretty much every every aspect of this I mean um, there's virtually um, many things you can do with this like I said before it's great for UI prototyping um, it, it did a sweet landing page here. Uh, but yeah, I just hope you have fun with this. Can't wait to see what you build with this. And I have many ideas to improve the performance of it. And there's many more exciting features coming to LibreChat. And if there's any questions, if you're having trouble with this, um, let me know either in the comments or on Discord. I'm also on GitHub, very active on the repository. But anyway, with that said, I hope you have a good rest of your day. Thanks for checking out LibreChat.